In this video, I'm going to show how Mongoose OS implements ESP32 flash encryption. Here I have ESP32 board. It's DevKit C connected to my computer. I go to mongoose-os.com website and click on Docs. Go to the security section, ESP32 flash encryption. This section describes the procedure on how to enable it. It's basically two commands. Let me go through it. First, we flash Mongoose OS on ESP32 without flash encryption and demonstrate that the contents of the flash is in plain text. So, start your terminal, type MOS, brings the wizard, go to the flashing page, choose MOS ESP32, click next to flash Mongoose OS. Okay, now switch to prototyping mode and to the terminal. So this screen allows us to enter commands and see the output. Switch to the documentation and enter this command to dump the beginning of the file system to the console. So click enter. We can see in the output the initial 2000 bytes of the file system area on flash. You can dump any area you want or the whole entire flash, but just to demonstrate an initial area is enough. So we can see that the files are kept in plain text. This is a configuration file. So all the sensitive files like private keys are also kept in plain text. So let's enable flash encryption now and repeat the same command to ensure that the after the flash encryption is enabled, uh, the files are encrypted. So switch back to documentation and run this command to enable flash encryption. Paste it here and run. Okay, so the uh, flash encryption key is stored in file fe.key and this command is irreversible and this file fe.key should be preserved if you want to reflash this board again. So the encryption triggers on the next flash so let's flash this board again flash ESP32 We enter the flash command with the additional flag ESP32 encryption key equals fe.key and uh, we can see that the first flash triggers the encryption process. It takes some time to complete. Now we can see that the encryption has finished and the firmware boots normally, uh, prints TikTok messages. So now let's repeat the command which dumps a fl flash file system and let's see if it's encrypted or not. Paste it here, click enter. Okay, now we can see that the output is garbage. So it's not readable, it's not plain text. The flash is now encrypted. So if you like this video, please click like, or if you have any comments, please comment. Thank you and goodbye.